All right, guys, so we are on day number eight with Stryker. Um, she's working on her positive reinforcement. We've got her in the car a bunch of times. She's met about 30 people. She's starting to walk on a leash, however, not very well, but she's walking on a leash. She's not really yanking on it a lot. She is right now because the other puppy's over there. Um, we've introduced her to a lot of different things. Um, today, we're gonna introduce her to the swimming pool. Now, there's no, there's nothing that says you have to teach your dog to swim right now, but hell, you can teach them how to swim anytime after you get them at eight weeks old, okay? So, the reason why I would teach her how to swim now is no different than you would teach a human child how to swim when they're young. The earlier they learn, A, the better they are, and B, the less nervous they are about it later. It's way harder to teach a 12-year-old kid how to swim than it is a, a, a little baby because fear gets involved and all that kind of stuff. So what we're gonna do is start introducing this dog to the pool. So introduction to a lake, ocean, or river is a little bit different. I would simply put the dog on a leash and I would walk in the water and the dog would follow me around and eventually I'm into water up to here and my dog's swimming, okay? But you just wanna control it. So what we wanna do is we never want our dog to run from fear. So she's curious about the pool, but she doesn't understand it. And so if, if she touches it and then runs away from it, she'll be afraid of it for life, right? And so we wanna get her involved. Now, some dogs would just jump in a pool and swim on their own. They figure it all out and they do all that stuff. She might be one of those dogs, but I'm not gonna wait and find out. I'm gonna teach my dog how to swim and to just to add one more thing to her resume as a young dog of things that she's working on, okay? So the old, um, the old deal where people used to say, just throw the dog in the pool, throw them in the lake, they'll learn how to swim. Yeah, it's a true way to traumatize your dog and never have them swim again. Um, I am gonna do that same thing, but the difference is I'm gonna control the outcome, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is get her used to the water. I'm only gonna, this is gonna be two or three minutes. I'm gonna get this dog to run through this very, very quickly, and then tomorrow I would step it up. By the end of five days, at two to five minutes a day, I can set that dog anywhere in this pool, and it'll swim to this wet deck. Now, this is an enormous wet deck. This is an enormous pool. Uh, most of us don't have a pool quite this big, but the concept is the same regardless of the size of the pool. Get your dog to start at the stairs where they're gonna get out, or at the wet deck, or whatever it is, okay? So what I'm gonna do is pick her up, I'm just gonna set her in the water, She's gonna be whatever, her level of discomfort with that. She's a little curious. And, I, and I'm gonna kinda of hold her in there with my feet to where she can't jump out. When she calms down, I'm gonna back up and have her jump out on her own. So the first thing I'm gonna teach her is the last sequence when she's in the pool, which is how to get out, okay? So let's do that first and see where we go. So I'm gonna pick her up. And you notice I have a long lead on, and that's so I can gain distance and get her to follow me at greater distances. Okay, plus I don't want to ruin my leather lead here in the pool. So I'm going to set the puppy in the pool nice and easy. She's going to walk around. I'm going to hang her in there. No, nope. I'm going to let her relax. As soon as she relaxes, I'm going to just kind of block her. I'm going to block her. I'm going to block her. And again, there we go. I'll take that. Okay. She didn't really stop and relax, but she wasn't actually that nervous. She just kind of wanted to get out. So I'm going to do that again. Good girl. I'm going to praise her. That's my girl. I want her very comfy with the pool. Could you give a treat here? You sure could. I don't generally use treats because this is a pretty easy process. Put her back in. There we go. Put her back in. Put her back in. Put her back in. That's what I'm looking for right there is her to relax. Now I'm gonna back up and say, come. Striker, come. Good girl. Very good, that's what I'm looking for, is for her to calm down and say, okay, this thing's not gonna kill me. Now don't do it 10 times, two or three times, get the best result where the dog's not traumatized. You wanna do this on a leash because you don't want the dog to jump out of the pool and then run away, because then they'll be nervous about the pool, and the only reason why they got away with it is because they were able to scamper off and run away. I'm gonna bump her in. No. Good. Relax. Relax much quicker this time. I'm gonna bring her out. There we go. All right. So now I'm gonna do a quick swim. It's best done with two people, but I'm gonna do it by myself. What I would normally do is I would probably go out here on, with flip flops and I would have somebody set the dog in very gently right there and I would use the long lead come and pull the dog to the wet deck. And I would do that from every area in the pool. I would probably just do two or three repetitions a day until at the end of the week I've done everywhere in the pool. 
By the end of the week, you could set this dog in the pool. No matter where it goes, it's gonna to swim to this deck. Okay, so the deal is, I don't want the dog to panic at the edge. Okay, so I'm gonna set her in here. I'm get her to swim over this way. Once she gets on the wet deck, I'm okay. She didn't quite make it. Woo! I almost made it. <laughs> that was a good one. There you go, baby girl. So that was her first swim. Pretty much every dog, I've never seen a dog not paddle. Some of them panic and just swim in one place, but they don't know how to use their hind end. So by helping them a little tiny bit with the leash, they'll learn how to use their back legs a lot quicker. So I'm gonna set her in again. Come on. So I don't want her to panic at the edge. Good. So again, ideally, I'm gonna be standing there so she wouldn't swim on the edge. Somebody would set her in there and I would be able to pull her straight to where she wouldn't go up against that edge right there. I don't want her panicking at the edge. And so I want her to have a direct run from wherever she is to the wet deck. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it for you anyway. My shoes need a bath, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out for us. So Y'all can see what it looks like. Come here. Come here. Good girl. Daddy, come here. There you go. And off the cliff she goes. A little swim. I don't want her panicking. I'm going to pull her back over here. Let her figure it out. And there we go. Good. Okay, so <laughs> this would be the end of session one, basically. So a little introduction. She's not panicking. It's just very quick. Another way you can introduce your dog in the pool is by going into the pool, picking up your dog, walking out in the pool, let her swim to the stairs. Have a couple people, have her swim to mom, have her swim to dad, have her swim to mom. So there's a lot of things that you can do to introduce the pool. You can do this without getting wet, other than holding on to the dog, of course, uh, if the water's cool, but this actually, this water's quite nice. So we're coming, boys and girls. We're gonna do one more repetition. She's super excited about it, I can tell. Now, she's not happy about it, but she's not dying. She's not nervous. Overly afraid, let's put it that way. I'm gonna bring her my way. Come here, strike her. Good girl. Now, I'm gonna help her. Now, I don't want her to panic and run out of the pool, so I'm gonna have her come back to me. Good girl. And I'm gonna pet her. And I want her to just chill out. The more she can relax in here, the better off our session goes. Good. Just gonna walk off the edge so she doesn't know any better. You wanna do it? Good. Good girl. There you go. That's my girl. That's what we're looking for right there, guys. It's just to get her to calm down a little bit, okay? So if you have a pool, great. Teach your dog how to swim two to five minutes a day, a couple repetitions each day until you've done each area of the pool, swimming the dog to the same location. By the end of the week, you could literally set the dog in the pool. The dog could fall in the pool from everywhere and swim to this spot. Okay? Spas are also very dangerous. Let's take a look at the spa real quick. Good. Let's take a look at the spa here real quick. All spas are a little different. At least my feet aren't wet. But like this spa is a typical spa. It has one little spot to get out. And so this dog's not tall enough to get out from anywhere else. So she could drown in a spa like this if you weren't paying attention and she ran around here and slipped because she's not gonna be able to get out of this four inch ledge. So you would do the same thing. You would start there and teach this dog how to swim to that step from everywhere in this pool, okay? And I would do that over a few days for safety more than anything. Um, so teach your dog how to swim. Once she gets her final shots at 16 weeks, we're gonna take her out to the lake, but we're gonna probably stay away from that level of dirtiness until, uh, until she gets those shots. Okay, all right guys, so swim your dog, add that to your routine. So now you're swimming, you're walking on a leash, you're doing some treat training, you're hopefully working on your kennel. Um, we got a lot of things going on, so it's pretty exhausting. So work hard with your dog, everything in like five minute increments. Okay, and we'll see you all soon. Striker 365.